Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So today I wanted to show you a program that I really love called Winderstat. Um, you may remember a few days ago I did a video on the program Space Sniffer. Well, Space Sniffer at first seemed like a kind of a new rendition of Winderstat or an alternative to it, and I thought it was kind of neat. I was playing with it for a while, but then I started running into a lot of errors and. Um, not ones that could be fixed simply by you know running in an administrator mode, which it first recommends. Um, and I just I, I didn't really enjoy the program as much as I thought I would. So I thought I'd give you guys uh, the alternative, which is Windows Stat, and that's something I've been using for years, and I've always just kind of come back to. So it's amazing. It's never crashed on me. It doesn't give me errors, and um, I highly recommend it. So. Here's the program. So when you first go to Windows Stat, and by the way, this stands for Windows Directory Statistics, yeah, for anyone who cares, uh, you just go to uh, windowsstat.net, and then you click on Downloads, and uh, they have a link from Fossub, and Fossub is great. You can also get it um, from some alternative uh, resources, but uh, you should be able to get it there. Uh, when you first open the program, you're given a choice of scanning all of your drives or individual drives and um, I'll go ahead and scan my C drive because that's a solid state drive and it'll go a little faster and because a la Food Network I already did it back here so um, we'll hit OK and um, we'll see these little Pac-Men going back and forth as it calculates uh, how much space each directory and subdirectory is taking and it'll do this for a while it might take you a long time um, just depending on how fast your machine is, how fast your processor is, and you can even go into the options later on and um, kind of optimize this to run a little better. But uh, I'll go ahead and close this and open up one that's already ready. And here's my hard drive. So if I click on C, it highlights this whole square right here, and that's my hard drive and all of the files on it. The colors are uh, for the most part, representative of um, the type of file it is. For example, RPF and NEFS. Uh, these are actually probably game resource files that just happen to have those extensions. Um, but you can go all the way down to applications and uh, things like that. So. Um, that's basically what the color comes from. But let's go into the folder structure and what all these squares mean. So if we click on Program Files, excuse me, you'll notice that uh, the square that's highlighted becomes this right here, this whole square. And that means that this box represents my program files. So if I uh, click on the other program files, we'll see it's a little bit lower. If I go to Users, that's down here. Windows is over here and program data is right here, right? So um, if I go back to program files, we'll see that that's what takes uh, the most space on my computer. So let's explore that a little bit and see what else there is. So if we hit the plus sign, we can see all of the folders sorted by how large they are. And if I click on Steam, I can see that that takes a majority of the space here. So Steam is where I want to focus my efforts. But if I click on World of Warcraft, that's also a pretty big chunk of space over here, so maybe if I don't play that as much, uh, I should look into installing, uninstalling that. Uh, so let's go back to the Steam folder, and let's open this, and we'll see that 99% of the space, 99.7 actually, is in Steam apps. So we can ignore the rest of it effectively. And then um, we'll see that in common, 100% of the space is used there, so we can ignore all these other files and open that directory. And now we got to the good stuff. Now we see Grand Theft Auto V. If I click on that, this blue area represents Grand Theft Auto V. If I click on WWE 2K16, this area represents that game. And I can click on each game going down this list, uh, Dirt 4, Max Payne 3, Trials Fusion, and visualize how much space on the screen they're taking. And I hope the, the little rectangle shows up well on your screens, but um, but on, on your computer, when you run it at home, uh, you'll, it'll be very easy to spot um, which square repre is representative of each folder. And if you start going into um, uh, your downloads folders or your desktop or things like that or your documents, it makes it really easy to see where, um, where you might want to focus uh, on cleaning up and, uh, 
and where your largest files are. So I really like this program a lot better than Space Sniffer, and I thought I'd recommend it to you guys uh, after giving up on the other one. So hope you like this video, and thanks for watching. Peace. Mm-hmm.